I'm leaving home for the coastline Someplace under the sun I feel my heart for the first time Cause now I'm moving on, yeah I'm moving on And there's a place that I've dreamed of where I can free my mind I hear the sounds of the season And lose all sense of time I'm moving far away To a sunny place Where it's just you and me Feels like we're in a dream You know what I mean The summer air by the seaside The way it feels how long The fire burns in the night sky This life will keep us young, yeah Keep us young We will be attempting to canoe slash raft the entire Hudson River from Lake Tier of the Clouds on the side of New York's highest mountain, Mount Marcy, 315 miles all the way to New York City and the Statue of Liberty. We will start out in a pack raft, which will have to hike almost nine miles up the side of the mountain. Then go down in the pack raft, having to drag it most of the way for about 10 miles until hopefully we can get in the boat and actually start down the stream where it turns into the river. From there, we will hit whitewater with a regular whitewater raft, and then only after that get into our canoe. From there, hopefully it'll be a little bit easier, um, but that should quickly turn more challenging as we hit numerous portages around dams and then the last almost half of the trip will be heavily tidally influenced with the river actually flowing backwards half the time.
Feels like we're in a dream You know what I mean Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Taylor, happy birthday to you. What are we doing, Tay? We're 
canoe or we're walking the canoe a mile through town. <laughs> what? To get around two dams. Two dams. Uh-huh. Not one, two. Two dams. One mile by foot. <laughs> okay. Sounds like a miserable enterprise. Yes, it's pretty miserable by the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing something. Walking across the lock. We get back in the water because we weren't there in time. Climbing down below the Hudson Falls some private property this really steep hill lowering the canoe
I'm a ghost to you, you're a ghost to me A bird's eye view, San That's the wilderness, the isolation, the isolated areas. And now we're gonna have to deal with a, a whole new set of problems. Dams, motorboats, police. Dead bodies floating in the water. Rats. rats.
we've gone down 10 feet and here opens the doors to freedom. Leaving Federal Dam in the first lock down pretty much at sea level in Troy, New York as the sun sets. Downtown Troy, New York, the Captain JP the Third. Bridge 26 on the Hudson, Thursday morning. Right outside of Albany, we have some sort of unclear what some sort of metal recycling plant semi interesting just walking down the dock where we went out to lunch you can see all these nice big boats and then you can see a little bit small <laughs> Bridge number 31. 31. 31. 31. Italian. Italian. In German. Dreihund. In French. Atorum. And in Borat language, Fun. and then we got Taylor here, you want to stay? Doing the only thing I've done for the past eight days. And then we just have water, water, water in this suicidal adventure, never to be repeated again. <laughs> Picture your cell phone a boat on a river with tangerine streams and calico sky. The sea and the sky with diamonds. The sea and the sky with diamonds. That's what we sing today. And then we're also singing. Row, row, row your boat gently down the Hudson. Merrily, merrily, merry, merry. Life is but a nightmare. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. We are. Good morning. Good morning. We are somewhere past. Past what? Somewhere past Kingston. Kingston, Jamaica. Kingston on the Hudson. Um, some somewhere before um, Hyde Park. It's cloudy and a little chillier than previous days, but it's dry. And we keep going. We push on. Want to say bye to the viewers? Goodbye. Oh, that was freaking creative and inspiring. Dave, you want to tell our viewers what we're up to? It's 7.08 and we got up, got out quickly this morning to keep paddling for 45 minutes and we probably did what in an hour would take us two and a half hours to paddle. So we're saving time by going with the current just going past West Point. Yeah, I just want to say that I was asleep at 5.45 and at 6.05 I was in the canoe. Just, just want you to know that. <laughs> Here's some abandoned factory situation at 
the start of the very wide part of the river. Here we are about uh, 40-ish miles to New York City. <laughs> See it's getting a little big <laughs> and a little bit wavy and windy, but we press on. Mario Cuomo Bridge. From that bridge, we should be able to see Manhattan. Dave, yeah. from there, we'll be able to see NYC. Oh, yeah. Mario Cuomo Bridge over the Hudson River is one of its widest points. Big stretch from where on day two a log fell across the river. We had the portage around it. So just awoke to a alarm. It's 3.30 a.m. And uh, our plan is to get up, put our sh stuff away, and make our way to our canoe and start out at around 4 a.m. It's about 3.30 now by canoe in the dark down the Hudson River starting in the dark for maybe an hour or so watch the sunrise over Manhattan and go down the river moonrise or moonset on our last morning Here it is, 4.15 a.m. New York City, just around the corner in front of us. Hey, say good morning. Good morning. To family and friends. <laughs> we started paddling what time? 4.15, it's now five o'clock. And we can see the Manhattan lights. In the distance. In the distance and the bridge behind me, maybe. That's a sight you don't see every day from here. George Washington Bridge and Lower Manhattan behind. We are two miles from our destination, that's Ellis Island. How you doing, Captain? Good. Go. Holding strong. Cruising now. Cruising. We're cruising. Statue of Liberty somewhere behind that. We made it. Day. Yeah. Statue of Liberty, made it 315 miles from Lake Tier of the Clouds.
Right. 